just really weird. I mean, I've been a pastor 18 years. All my kids are born in the church. They've never been in another church. We started the church before we had kids. And wake up on Sunday and I realize I don't, I'm not a pastor. I don't have a church. I don't. Like, we can't go to church. <laughs> right. I think the media is on the other side of the fence wondering what we're going to do today, so we'll just stay here. And and so we, uh-huh. we sat down as a family, and I, I mean, I was, I was very emotional. And uh, my kids just decided, well, we're a church, so my one daughter who can sing, the rest of us just can't sing. She led worship, and my other son led us in prayer, and one of the kids did scripture reading, and, you know, we had brunch together, and my eight-year-old son came down and collected an offering. Um, As eight-year-olds, eight-year-olds would, eight-year-olds yes. Son, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to give to a single mom that he knew wasn't wow. going to have enough money for kids for Christmas. So wow. he collected the offering. So, And I taught a Bible, st- I started teaching a Bible study on forgiveness because I believe the heart of the demonic is unforgiveness. I believe, I believe God does forgiveness and Satan and demons are never forgiven and never forgiving. And I believe if you want to enter into demonic torment, just get bitter and don't do forgiveness. Absolutely. And so I sat down with my kids. I said, okay, we, you need to forgive your dad for anything he's contributed. We need to forgive anyone else who's participated in this complex situation. Because what I don't want to raise is bitter pastor's kids who are in demonic torment because they have a church hurt. We need to forgive, we need to love, we need to heal up. And so we did church together at home as a family for many, many months and and then invited some family and friends to join us just to have safe fellowship and community. So my kids basically ran their own church. 